Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, April 29th to May 5th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the cards and we can go straight to the spread. So the first card which is marking the Sagittarius is topic of the week that is going to be the Justice card followed by the second one which is the um, challenges that Sagittarius are to face throughout the week this is going to be the uh, Eight of Swords third card that we do have it is the positive aspect of Sagittarius this week that is going to be the, the King of Pentacles excuse me and the last one that we do have, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Sagittarius. This is going to be the Ten of Swords. So once again, we do have the Justice, followed by the Eight of Swords. Third card that we do have, that is going to be the King of Pentacles. And the last one, this is going to be the Ten of Swords. So, uh, just as, uh, first of all, the first look at these cards as a glance, it does, uh, the cards does represent a, um, a situation that you are stuck in. It could be that because you are, for example, jobless or because you are single and, and, and you can't find either a, a job of yours to start working or a, a partner of yours. Uh, throughout this week, you are to meet this person that appears as the King of Pentacles, who is to offer you a way out. So it's uh, it that could be a person with a job offer, you know, or it could be someone who, you know, uh, maybe you will not be able to start a, a relationship with, but they will have a pretty good idea, you know, whom they can introduce you to, so you can start a relationship. Or it could be something like this as a manifest as a manifestation. But before that. <clears throat> Let's go uh, to the more profound explanation of the cards. And the first one that is to be the topic. So we do have the justice. Justice in the most general way, it does says that justice, law and order are going to be in place for you throughout the week. Meaning that everything that is to happen to you, everything that you do uh, this week is going to be exactly as the way you are performing into it. So in, in other words, you are going to get exactly what you deserve. So if you are toiling a lot, then you are going to extract more profit. If you are, uh, for example, spending a lot of time out socializing yourself with people that means that you're going to get a lot of a uh, options available for example to start a relationship or to have a good time if you spend a lot of time alone at home then you're not going to get any kind of um, opportunities whatsoever in generally the justice here points that whatever you plant as a seeds throughout this week it is what you're going to reap as a harvest further into the future Additionally to that, it looks like that you are going to have the acute discernment of the situations, knowing what is right to do and what is not right to do, therefore being accountable toward oneself and toward the situation itself as well, to do what is right for yourself, that is, all right? And uh, finally, just as here points, guys, that you are to very well... Uh, 
align or rather like sort your responsibilities, not allowing those responsibilities and tasks in general that you do have, either relationship-wise, career-wise, you know, or family-wise, to overburden you in any way. The accompanied card that is going to be the Two of Swords formation is active uh, supporters, and we're talking about a, a very peaceful week that you're going to have as well. A week that will not have a big repercussions in a, a negative aspect of one's decision making and of one's performance as well. That is due to the fact that through your acute discernment of the situations, you will be able to place everything in a, a precious equilibrium adopting the middle ground meaning that you will not going to win any enemies throughout this week and it is unlikely that you are to confront people or a situation that is that can provoke crisis in your life and uh, how that passiveness actually is going to be very challenging um, to be overcome in the sense of you know to stir certain situations in your life that is due to the fact that we do have the Eight of Swords on a um, challenging position. And Eight of Swords does represent that one be is being stuck in a situation or in an enterprise, you know, or in generally in direction of one's life, without, uh, but not without one's contribution. So whatever you are stuck at, you do contribute it for that stagnation, right? But in the same time, you also can stir that situation. And the challenge for you is going to be to realize how to stir that situation. Now, the stirring itself, it doesn't look like that it happens quite that week, right? This week is going to be you sorting out your responsibilities and uh, as well being accountable toward the, the, the situations and people and so on and so forth. But... <clears throat> The more you move throughout the week, the more um, the right decisions and as well what you need to do in order to stir your life, either relationship-wise, career-wise, or maybe both, uh, is going to become obvious to you, okay? Um, stirring, one thing that comes to my mind right now is stirring. It could be that you are trying to reallocate, for example, but you can't. It's because you have a mortgage to pay, you know, you have a children at school as well. You have a friends here. Your husband doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to move, you know, and, and all that has something with your decision as well. You married for this person. You took the uh, house under a mortgage. You place your children into these uh, schools, you know, of a how high value and therefore you alone contributed to be stuck into that place. But in the same time, should you be capable to look outside of your box, you will find a way how you can stir that situation. This is just an, an example how the thing can unfold for you. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the uh, Eight of Cups. A formation is active neutrals. <clears throat> Seven of Cups, excuse me. The formation is active neutrals. And uh, uh, this thing, uh, this combo, guys, it does remind me of uh, of that one finds themselves in a certain, in a such standpoint that it's the success or the stir of your life is so close and in the same, in, and in the same time so much far away due to the fact that Oh, there is always something that obstructs you to, to make that execution, to make that stir. And the challenge here is going to be to find out this missing piece of the puzzle, you know, this, this bridge that you need to create in order to um, connect, you know, the both, uh, the both pieces, the presence and the future, that is, and move along with it. Um, <clears throat> These couple of cards as well are pointing that you may be prone to do stupid things also throughout the week. So it will be very important, Sagittarius, is that you are rather grounded when it comes to um, making decisions and when it comes to performing into certain situations as well. Just do not surpass yourself and do not try to take two steps for the straight of one. But uh, the positivity this week, guys, that is going to be the king of uh, pentacles. And that is to be a, a person 
Now, uh, this person is very generous, right? Very generous, they can offer you great things, but you should not mistake generosity for charity. Generous means that they are willing to pay even more for something that you're gonna get in return, all right? So you need to have a mutual benefit with that person. Lucky for, Lu for you, excuse me, as the card falls into a positive position, they definitely, you definitely have something that they want and that they need, and that's why they're gonna come around to you with that proposition. But make no mistake, guys, <clears throat> they don't do that out of charity. There is something that is gonna benefit them as well from the whole cooperation that you're gonna make with them. And what they're gonna do for you, well, basically they're gonna give you the means for you to study your situation, to sort out your priorities, you know, to uh, settle them or rather, yeah, like, yeah, sorting them out in the sense of that you're not gonna feel overburdened by them and so on and uh, so forth. <clears throat> King of Pentacles, it's uh, it's someone who is very um, well established in a sense of that they do not play risky moves. And uh, that's why associating yourself with them, either through a business proposition, through a business partnership, you know, or through a creating of one relationship or a friendship is going to also secure uh, your future. The accompanied card that is to be the tower, so we do have a passive neutrals and through the association with that person, your association with that person, you will be able to avoid major crisis moving on along with your life as well as you will be able to avoid crisis even in this week. Now uh, with the tower card as well here points that this <clears throat> cooperation could a little bit slow your growth I'm saying a little bit, but at least you're going to grow through well-established roads, paths, you know, uh, activities and, and patterns instead of uh, risking things and instead of going through turmoil so you can grow through that, um, <clears throat> through that turmoil. And uh, the way that it looks to me, that will be a, a person who will appear as a guardian angel, you know, to you, uh, Sagittarius is. Someone that's uh, kind of like, you are to see this person as someone who wants to see you prevailing. And while that is true, once again, I want to stress this one to you guys, is that they are also going to prevail through cooperating with you. So it's kind of like a, a mutual benefit that you're going to have uh, with them. The final card here, which is the Guidance, that is the Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords, it does represent when one is on a verge of new era, but yet that era is impossible to be embarked. It is because one kind of have these strings uh, from the past or from the present currently that needs to be severed with a drastic change with drastic measures, excuse me, with irrevocable decisions, irreversible actions, and so on and so forth. Therefore, uh, the, um, the Ten of Swords here as a guidance tells you that you have to be brave and you have to be as well unyielding and I will say it, ruthless also when it comes to your growth and your, uh, and your performance as well. I mean, if something doesn't suit you, even if your detachment of that of whatever doesn't suit you is gonna hurt those people with the ten of swords you gotta you gotta do it i mean those people which are yet involved into that thing you, you gotta do it guys because otherwise you are not going to embark that new era in your life i mean those events that are coming those events that are happening around you which require from you to take those drastic measures um, should not be fought and should be embraced uh, rather. So um, yeah, I mean, it will require a, a quite of a, uh, how can I place a, a drastic, drastic actions of your behalf to truly stir your life. But the, through, through the cooperation, with this person, which is the King of Pentacles. It doesn't look like that those irreversible uh, actions and irrevocable decisions are gonna have huge negative impact upon your life. Just like I said that this person is gonna be a guardian angel and what he's gonna do for you, well, he's gonna guard you of any negativity that comes to your way. Uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the Ten of uh, Cups and we have double tens here, which definitely speaks through a, a forceful new beginning. 
and uh, the combo is a active neutrals so it's um well basically as a guidance these cards are pointing that not everything that you uh, will have to do is going to be of your liking and is going to be thing and is going to be what you want to do but uh at the end of the day you know one has to do what one has to do in order to uh improve their circumstances to become better and to stir their life toward greater heights so this week you will have to do what you have to do if you want to do it all right if you don't want to do it well you're going to stay in the same uh in the same situation as you are in right now and there will be no improvement at least according to these cards my point is that things are not going to improve on their own accord guys i mean it will require your drastic measures ruthless actions even if uh you rather don't want to do it it will be uh it will be needed what i mean is that if you want improvement you will have to do it so yeah, that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 29th to May 5th, 2019, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.